In this video, I'm going to teach you the Eiffel Tower, and it looks like this. Now, the Eiffel Tower is a classic trick, and it's pretty easy, but it's one that's sure to impress your friends and family, especially if you're just getting into yo-yoing. So uh, it is a picture trick, and just like any picture trick, it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you let the yo-yo hang down at the bottom of the string. And I'm going to teach you this trick in three easy steps. The first step is the slingshot. So to set up your slingshot, all you've got to do is extend your yo-yo hand forward and make sure that you keep your thumb out. And then you're going to pinch your thumb and the first two fingers of your opposite hand together. And then you're just going to pull the string through your yo-yo hand just like a slingshot. So that's step one. Step two is where we're going to thread the needle. So we're going to come down here and see how when we bring our opposite hand down, it makes this little triangle with the string. So we're going to use our first finger that's now free on our opposite hand. We're going to grab the string coming up off of the yo-yo and we're going to thread it through this triangle right here. And as you do that, let the rest of the string drop off of your opposite hand and you'll be set up just like this. The last step is where you're going to do the twist. So you're just going to twist your yo-yo hand forward and you're going to extend your thumb toward you and you can see the the trick is already starting to take shape. So all you want to do is pinch the string coming off the yo-yo in between your middle finger and your ring finger. And you can see that forms the Eiffel Tower. Sometimes you'll want to give it a little bit of an adjustment just to uh, adjust the way that it looks so that it's perfect. Um, but let me show you that one more time from a different angle that'll definitely help you out. Again, to start, you're just going to extend your yo-yo hand forward and make sure to extend your thumb as well. Then pinch your thumb and the first two fingers of your opposite hand together and then pull the string through your yo-yo hand just like a slingshot. Now you're going to bring that hand down which will create this little triangle here and you're going to take your first finger and pull the string coming off of the yo-yo through that triangle and then let the rest of the string just fall right off the finger and thumb of that hand. And then you're going to twist your yo-yo hand down and when you do that, make sure to point your thumb at yourself and then just pinch the string coming off the yo-yo between your ring finger and your middle finger, just like that. Give it some shape and that's the Eiffel Tower. Once you practice the trick enough times and you feel like you've really got it down, you can try it with the yo-yo spinning. And if you can get the trick to happen, bring it back to your hand before the spin dies, you have mastered the Eiffel Tower.